check. Check. Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play La Mulana, where I'm already getting my ass kicked by skeletons throwing things. Eh. Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh, I didn't die, but... Holy crap. Alright, that was a pissed off goddess of the seed. And since that, I just got, like, murdered. We're gonna reset the game real quick. So I have almost full health. That'll save a trip to the hot spring. Maybe we'll actually go an episode without having to make a trip there. Probably not, but, you know. Could happen. Aha, not today. Of course, my curiosity wants me to hit that shield thing, but I'm gonna, we're gonna... gonna resist. Hey, we're in the graveyard of the giants. Alright, we got it. There is a cursed treasure hidden in the ruins. The curse will be cast on anyone who lays their hand on it. Take the red stone in hand and dispel the curse. Okay. Oh, we got some skeletons. Nothing to say. Also, nothing to say. Kind of disappointing. I haven't really been checking the skeletons in all honesty, so for all I know, I've missed some that actually say something. The Spalder of the Weapon-Wielding Goddess. It is hidden beyond the Goddess's gaze. Make thy way there with a small key in hand. The small key in hand, even. Wait a second, I see something. Look at them right in the center of the screen. Okay, I'm just pretty sure that that's some Lamulani's text there in the background. Like, right smack in the middle of the screen, and I just missed out a bunch of coins. I'm gonna introduce the mouse. Right there. See, it looks like I should be able to scan that, but apparently not. Eh, well. Doesn't say, oh, this looks fun. There's a hidden platform. We actually just read this clue, I'm pretty sure. With the red stone in hand, um, we don't have the red stone. Wait, okay. Not sure how we were supposed to figure that out, other than dumb luck of just trying that. But I guess that's okay. Hey! like to get a weight on this pedestal. Okay, there we go. Took a couple tries. Hey, it's Mr. Butts. I haven't seen them these guys in a while. Alright, let's head down here, check out this tablet. I guess we're going down here. Ah, yeah, you're not shooting ice at me. Ow. Some more stuff we can't read, yay. And that... Uh, that disabled that laser. That did something. Perhaps disabled this laser. Yes, yes it did. Okay, we unlocked a new ladder. See where this takes us. Take your new weapon in hand and take down the wall that blocks thy way. Excuse me, Mr. Butt. Coming through. Now we get another ladder. Also have a door. 
I'm getting claustrophobic here. When we were building the tower, we decorated it with statues of goddesses, although someone made one copper statue in a different shape. If I remember correctly, that person was good at using weapons. It is said they hid a treasure there that could power up weapons. Really? Is it just me or is it cramped in here? Yeah, well, th that doesn't seem like as important of a clue as some of the other stuff, so... Oh, it, you know, it, it hasn't opened. So chances are that means we're gonna have to fight a boss, or a mini-boss, rather, to get it. So, yeah, I guess where we're going yet again. One of these days, we will make it through an episode without having to go to the hot spring. Will that day be soon? Probably not. We could have done the previous episode, except for the fact that I filled up my experience bar when I was already at full health. You know, that timing. Alright, let's go back to the Tower of the Goddess. Head to the room to the right. Hopefully not get hit by this wolf thing. Yeah, the shield's gone. And let's get out of here before I get hit. Easy enough. This is going to be the room that's going to be the challenge to get through. And we got through it. Damn, my Earth Spear. I still can't believe that that isn't a uh, mural I'm supposed to scan. Jump to it in front of it or something? Maybe if I walk through those spikes? Let's find out. No? I, I don't know. Maybe I have to hit it with bombs after I get them. Sorry, Mr. Butt. Oh, of course. Really? Oh, game, why do you do these things to me? Here we go. Mini boss. On ice. Not terribly difficult, amazingly. And we get a lint roller, or some bombs. Now this opens up some possibilities. First things first, well, apparently first things first, we're gonna check out Zelpa's message. Explosion, explosion, it's me, and ex it's an explosion. Have you got a hold of, the, of a bomb? If you throw the bomb, it'll fly in a straight upwards kind of arc. So you'll be in trouble if you throw it in a tight spot. You can also roll it on the ground by throwing it while holding it down. Alright, well, there's something here I want to blow up, and then we're going to travel somewhere. No, oh, yeah, we're going to travel somewhere. Apparently, we're going to travel back down here. Let's try this again. this way this time. So we don't fall, get hit and fall down. Or we'll just get hit, we'll get hit, but not fall. So I guess that's an acceptable alternative. Alright, let's see. Alright, we kind of threw it in our face and got hit by it, but there we go. We got a passage into the other portion of the Graveyard of the Giants. Now the other place, if I can remember where this was... Ah, yes, this place. Oh, how many times did I travel this path while attempting to beat Baphomet? I had this pattern of jumping and whatnot, like, entirely memorized. And here to the 
right. Aha! Now we can solve this puzzle. Although what is actually in here, I don't know. First things first, let's get this one. Second things first, let's reset the puzzle so I don't screw myself over and I can actually complete it. This one's obvious, I just have to push that over the side. Aha! Okay, there we go. Tricky stuff right there. Oh, wait. We have to do this one first. And we can do this one. And do that one, and then the last one. Yay, block puzzles. And the Eye of Retribution is gone, so in theory we can get up here. Hey, now we got some chakrams, and the Lamp of Time, it can stop time. Hey, those torches are lit up now. It's okay, let's go to the correct... Okay, let's go see what Zelda said. Don't play pranks, okay? It's me. So you brought the you bought the lamp of time. It seems using that you can stop time for a little bit. But once you use it, it loses its power. You may be able to use it again when you manage to light the lamp. Manipulate time with this lamp. Once you use the flame goes out, making it useless. Oh, apparently I just used it. Yeah, the time has stopped. I'm trying to think, where else have we seen one of those? I know, I know they're scattered all over the place. And I'm not sure if it's currently charged or not. Although, is there one in here? Ah, oh, that would have been nice if there was. Okay, let's see, where else? We were in one... Uh, not in this episode, was it the last episode? Here back for just a second. I'm gonna look up the locations of these of these things. Try to find an easy to get to one. All right. So the one here in the Tower of the Goddess, or Temple of Moonlight, rather not Tower of the Goddess, shouldn't be too bad to get to. And actually, it is not. So that's good to know. I will, prob will probably not be using this one at all because I can't get to it. Well, if you didn't screw this puzzle up, well, there you have it. There's an easy to get to one. Alright, so for anyone who ha actually screwed up that puzzle like I did, here's a pretty easy one to get to. Just stand in front of the lamp and you get a charge. Now there's a couple things we can do with this. And I think the first one is actually here in the Tower of Ruin. This is the item we need to... Uh, Solve that one speedy light flicker invisible thing room. So, yeah. You know, the, these room descriptions I give. Now you don't see them. Now you do see them. They're still moving. They're like little worm snake things. Apparently I only need to kill one or two, but that seems to have done the trick. I revealed a pedestal. I just barely managed to escape out of there. I'm 
Not entirely sure what that did. Tower of the Goddess. Let's drop all the way down. I should have gone the other, the other way. if I need this for anything, but hopefully that'll be a healing fairy. That would be nice. And it actually is! Alright, good. That'll periodically heal me. Alright, we're gonna want to use our lamp the second we get into this room so that I can get to that pedestal before the thing collapses on it. Like so. Well, that's not how it collapses like so. That's how we stop time and get to it in time. Apparently I can't put a weight on it. That was close, but we made it. The fairy still heal, he heals you while time is frozen, evidently. We have a shop. The Miracle Witch. It's our recommended product. I don't have enough money, though. Oh, well, that sucks. Apparently that's how we get back down from there. And I found some bombs. Oh, that's cool. What else or where else this lamp will be particularly useful? I don't know if you would be able to have done it, but this would have made the uh, mini bosses in the tower, or rather the twin labyrinth, a lot easier. And come to think of it, we have a bunch of areas in here to go explore. So we have a bunch of new doors to go through. Unfortunately, I'm up over 20 minutes already, and these, since I'm recording with Fraps again, these video files are huge. Oh, that one at least just kind of disappeared, and hey, look, I can recharge, recharge my lamp if I can get up here. Let's see where this one leads. Ooh, the Chamber of Birth. I see a grill point. If I can get to it, that would be great. Apparently not. Okay, don't hit the elephant statue. On second thought, that's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play La Milana. Next time, we're heading back to the Chamber of Birth. Chamber? Chamber of Birth. We're gonna get that grill and that chest we passed the last second. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and or subscribe, and have a great day, as I say before I forget to do so.